Hey friends, how's everyone doing today? Or tonight or this morning, whenever you may be joining me. Uh, I'm still trying to get this centered. Um, so it's Sunday afternoon. It's probably closer to 7.30. Um, so I lost my natural light. So I had to put up some studio lights that I've had from my days of photography. Um, but welcome, I'm glad you're here. Uh, my name is Marcia with Mimi Makes Keepsakes and happy you stopped by. And thank you everyone that has sent some likes and subscribes and shout outs and the sweet messages. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna try and keep this a little bit shorter and I may break it up into two videos. Um, so today is Sunday afternoon. I wanted to do some videos, do a video yesterday because I'm so excited to show you what I've made this week. But I did have some work to do. And then my husband and I, we went on a dinner date and to a concert. So that was a lot of fun. And I may post some pictures of that also. Um, and of course, today being Sunday, we had church and went and got some groceries and then I hung out with family and had a good day. So I hope everyone's had a good day today. Um, but it is hot. <laughs> I'm like sitting here sweating. You probably can see it beating up on my face and my forehead. Oh my goodness. Um, and I'm usually, the heat doesn't bother me, but this year it's been, it's been off the chart for sure. But I won't complain about the weather. We all have our struggles, right? <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm thankful we have air condition. And I know I said, I thank the good Lord. I do not have to work outside to make my living. And I thank the good Lord for air condition. So, but moving right along, I wanted to share with y'all what I made this week. I'm so excited. So you remember in my last video, I showed you my Sawyer the Snowman. Now, Sawyer was made out of the Burnett Blanket yarn, and I won't keep going over that. You can watch the video from last week, and if I figure out how to attach it where you can, I don't know, just scratch that. So, go watch the video that where I made the little bear and Sawyer the snowman. So, I made this with the Burnett Blanket yarn but I also made his little sidekick, Sammy the Snowman. And Sammy was made with Himalayan Dolphin Baby yarn and the Premier Parfait Chunky yarn. And I used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So this is my second Christmas item I've made this year. All of you guys that did Christmas in July, y'all, I should have thought about that. Now you're, you've got a head start on your Christmas makes and your decoration. But, like I said, he does have the traditional Christmas colors, white, green, and red. And I, did I tell you, I used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So this is Sammy the Snowman. And this too is a free pattern by Hobie. Um, and Shondell showed hers on her video that she has um, classy handmade. And hers turned out adorable. So she inspired me to do Sammy. And Sammy, then I also did the smaller one. No, Sawyer, and I did the smaller one, Sammy. So these are my little snowmen. Um, I think I may take them to market in November, because I think it's like November the 11th. So it's kind of the in-between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So. I think I will take some Christmas items. Um, last year, I did make, I don't know if you can see my gingerbread girl up here in the corner. I did a gingerbread girl and a gingerbread man from Rose and Lily. And my grandson has claimed the gingerbread man. He loves to play with the gingerbread man every time he comes to Mimi's house. So I'm thinking I may make some more, or at least another pair, um, a gingerbread girl and a gingerbread man. Also, if you haven't seen Lee Mac, go check out her channel. She shared the cutest little bumblebee that she made. 
and it was a free pattern. So you know me, cute and free. That's a win, 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 right? So let me introduce you to Bonnie the Bumblebee. Now my, my Bonnie the Bumblebee turned out a little bit bigger, much bigger than Lee Max did, but hers is just adorable. Why? Because I use Burnett Blanket Yarn and a 6.0 millimeter crochet hook and I thought Bonnie turned out adorable. Now Bonnie is a pretty easy pattern to follow. I think it would be a pretty good beginner's pattern, a, be a pattern for beginners um, because it's, you're just stitching around. You do have some color change, but it's not that often. I mean, you do have one, two, three, four, five, six color chains and you do have some sewing with her antennae eyes and her um, wings. But I think it's a really good beginner pattern if you wanna work on that color change and doing some sewing the head and the body is one piece, so you don't have to sew that. I thought she turned out adorable. So Bonnie, look at those beautiful eyes. Isn't she adorable? You know what she reminds me of? She reminds me of the Cheerios bee, the Honey Nut Cheerios bee. That's what she reminds me of. But Bonnie, I wasn't sure if I wanted to give her safety eyes or if I wanted to stitch them. But I had these eyes and they were just meant for Bonnie. Those Betty Davis eyes. Maybe I should call her Betty. Anyway, Bonnie is her name. And so I was thinking she needed a pearl necklace because she looks so classy <laughs> with her red bow and her Miss Bright Eyes. But my husband made her, it says, be kind. So she has a little, um, a little choker around her neck with a little sign that says, be kind. I may still get some beads and put some beads on her or some pearls. I'm not sure yet, but I thought Bonnie turned out so, so cute and she's so, so soft. So thank you, Lee Mac, for sharing your video of your bumblebee. Um, I don't have the name of the pattern designer, um, but I will leave it in the description below. I forgot to pull that up. Sorry. So what else did I make this week? Um, I did this little Holly baby and I'm not 100% sure if I, I, well, I know I didn't do the leaf right, um, but this is a paid pattern from Etsy, and I will show you how she's supposed to look. I'm sure I did something wrong with the leaf, but I'm not finished. She's supposed to have a little pouch that she sits down in, but I'm sure my little grandbaby, my granddaughter is gonna love her just the same. Um, but let me show you that pattern. It is a paid pattern from Etsy. Let me get that pulled up for you right quick. I had to pull up on my iPad. I am recording with my phone, so one day I am I may get a camera. I'm not sure, what do y'all use? A camera or your phone? Um, you know, Christmas is coming up, so has anybody been making a Christmas list? So it is called Holly Baby Christmas Ami Groomy. And the pattern is by Annie Ami Crochet from Etsy. And this is what she's supposed to look like. Isn't that adorable? So I'm going to try this. <laughs> Something didn't turn out right. I can just redo the leaf. I mean, I think she's just as cute as she can be. But I used um, on this, I believe it was Premier Parfait Chunky, four millimeter crochet hook. No, 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. That's what I used on her. So what else did I make this week? Oh yeah, so remember when I showed you the Premier, not Premier, Pioneer Woman yarn that I got at Walmart in my previous video. It is the 
Sharpe Chanel yarn. And I end up getting another ball because of what I made. And I made the cutest little snuggly lovey bear. Isn't that a cute little bear? So the body's not stuffed. I only stuffed the head. And I thought she turned out adorable. Now she is a paid pattern from Etsy. And let me pull that up for you. Sorry, sorry about your weight. Um, there it is. So it is a paid pattern by Mama Made Minis. And I've done so many lovies from Mama Made Minis that I'm probably gonna do another video after this video, sharing you all of the lovies that I've made. Um, this is Everbear, the Mini Everbear Lovey by Mama Made Minis. And I'm looking on her Etsy site right now. So you can go in and get the pattern 15% off. So she does recommend you use blanket yarn. I've also made her um, little loveys using Parfait Chunky yarn, but this little Sharpe, Sharpe Chanel yarn, I thought made it really, really cute. I got a little tail. I did my tail a little bit different than the pattern, but I'm thinking I may give this as a gift. Um, someone I know is having a little baby girl. So I did embroidery the eyes. I don't know, it's embroidering the eyes. I couldn't, it was hard to do a sleepy eye because it's so fluffy, but I think they turned out okay. Embroidering the eyes are not my favorite because you have to make sure you get them straight. Um, try and make sure one's not bigger than the other, but I thought she turned out adorable. So this is what I've made this week. And I also wanted to share with you something that I made probably about a month ago. Um, and it's this cute little doll. I started to show you in the last video, but the video was going kind of long, so I said I better wait. So she is made from Edwards Crochet Doll Emporium by Toff, um, Carrie Lord. And I know y'all probably seen this book before where you can mix and match all the clothes and you can mix and match the head and the shoes. So this little doll I did, she is the basic pattern. She does have the advanced pattern. I did not do the advanced pattern, but she does have a video out on how to do the fingers. And I watched the video and I'm like, this is easy, not a problem. I got it. The girl didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't got it. Um, I think what happened is I work on projects sometimes at night and I just got tired and so little girl here got her some standard arms, hands, but I think it's still so, so cute. Um, but the dress is removable, the shoes is removable, her little headband's removable. And I can't think of what her name is. I have to look on my Instagram because um, I do like to name all of my all of my mates and give them a little story. Um, so you get to mix and match. And I just thought it was adorable. So I will use this again. Um, the doll that I did make, she is made with Premier Par No. Premier Worsted Weight Yarn. <laughs> I got stuff falling off my desk. <laughs> oh, I'm not organized. And I do not have a list today either. So I feel like I'm not focused. I'm not organized. But the show must go on, right? So she was made with um, Premier Worsted Weight Yarn from Dollar Tree. And I'm not sure what the colors were. And she was made with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So I thought she turned out adorable. I don't remember her name. I will pop up a picture and what I named um, this sweet little girl. But I do like this book. And I, like I said, I will use it again. Um, it's interchangeable. It's just fun. They're so cute. And they all have the little, the little tummy. It's so cute. And they do have to pay attention to the head, the increases and decreases. I think one of her ears might have been a little lopsided. 
but that's okay. She's so cute. Oh, and it is also in UK terms, which is not an issue. Um, if you're not familiar with UK terms, you can you can Google that and get your little chart. Um, it's not that hard to go over. But you do, you got a little superhero. Isn't that adorable? So I do have several dolls that I have made, not out of this book, but out of other books. And I would love to show that with you one day also. So what I think I'm gonna do, I have some other lovies that I would like to share with you that I've made. I have, I have a tote full. <laughs> so I think I'll save that for the next video. Um, but that was it. I just wanted to share with y'all what I made this week. Um, my little Bonnie the Bumblebee, Sammy the Little Snowman, and my little Holly baby doll, and this little Ever Bear. Now, the Ever Bear is her name on the pattern, but I haven't given her a name yet, so I got to think of this, a cute name for this sweet little baby bear. All right, y'all, I hope you have enjoyed my makes this week, and I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit. And All right, y'all, if it's hot where you at, stay cool and stay hydrated and stay safe. Y'all have a great rest of your week. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.